We begin with battle for control of the U.S. House of Representatives. Democrats have clinched the Senate, so the House is the GOP's final shot at gaining control of a congressional chamber. The races are tight, and if Republicans manage to pull a win, their majority will be thin. Tom Dempsey joins us live from Washington, D.C. with more on what we're learning. Tom, there are still some outstanding House races out there. Yeah, that's right, Mitch. Officially one week after Election Day and this morning, the latest Decision Desk HQ results show Republicans need just one more seat to secure a majority in the House. And as of this morning, 15 House races remain uncalled. So we could see more races uh, called later today with uh, election workers still counting votes in some states across the country. In fact, just last night, Decision Desk HQ uh, called races in California for at least four different House races. You can see some of them right here in California. Ken Calvert and Michelle Steele held on to two House seats for Republicans. While for Democrats, also in California, Julia Brownlee and Kevin Mullen kept their seats blue. Two states to watch today, though, California and Colorado. Republicans, including Representative Lauren Boebert, continue to lead in a few races that remain uncalled as of now. Votes continue to be counted, and we may see winners declared later today. Again, Republicans need just one more win to secure a majority in the House. This all comes as Republicans plan to hold leadership elections for the next Congress later today, including for House Speaker. Kevin McCarthy remains a top name mentioned for the post. But after Democrats mitigated losses in the House, some Republicans continue to question whether or not to support McCarthy. During a candidate forum on Capitol Hill on Monday, though, McCarthy got others to back him. I'm fully in support of Kevin McCarthy uh, as speaker. I think he's done a great job as a Republican leader, uh, and uh, I believe he has earned uh, the support. Other Republicans, though, like Representative Chip Roy from Texas, continue to call for these elections to be delayed. In a post to Twitter, Roy wrote that votes shouldn't be held until everyone knows the full results of the elections. Again, important to note those uh, House leadership races still remain on as scheduled for later today. And Representative Andy Biggs from Arizona also running for House Speaker. We should get an answer as to who holds that role if Republicans do win the majority, Mitch. And Tom, what do we know about Democrats and their voting? I know that Nancy Pelosi was asked whether or not she'll run again, as opposed to it just being an assumption. Yeah, that's the big question right now for Democrats is sort of what's the future for House Speaker Nancy Pelosi? Because uh, Democrats are holding their House leadership elections on November 30th. So still some time for Democrats before they have to make that decision. But, you know, what's going to happen to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi? She's House Speaker now. If Republicans pick up one more seat, they win the majority. So what's going to happen next? Do Republicans, you know, keep going? Or, I'm sorry, Democrats keep going with the veteran leadership or do they look for someone new? Time will tell with that one, Mitch. It's kind of funny because I think if they won the chamber, there wouldn't be a question about who was House Speaker. But now that they've lost it, well, we assume that they are going to lose it. There is some sort of a question about who leads the party going forward. we will be interesting to see how that shakes out. Tom Dempsey reporting live very clearly from Washington to see Tom. Thank you. Now the Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.